Okay, welcome. This is the first video that we have on uh, on our vacation. Today is Monday, December 24th, the 11th of, of uh, Teves. And we're going to be looking at the Rambam's Hilchos Talmud Torah. We're going to look at uh, one or two halachos in the Rambam and uh, and go from there. Okay, the Rambam says as follows. This is halacha aleph, parak aleph. And I'm going to ask a question and then you send me the answer to that question. I'll have you in mind. Okay, so here's the idea. The Rambam says in Al-Khav, Nashim v'avadim v'ktanim p'tur mitama Torah. Women and uh, slaves and children are exempt from the mitzvah of Talmud Torah. The mitzvah of Talmud Torah has two parts, to learn and to teach. Right? So that women, slaves, and children are exempt from the uh, from teaching and learning Torah. Aval katan aviv chayev u'amdo Torah. Shnemar v'imadatem osam espenechem odaber bam. But a, when it comes to a child, it's not that a child is completely disassociated from the mitzvah of Talmud Torah. His father is obligated to teach him Torah. As the Pasuk says, you should teach your children to speak of them. Of them meaning of the words of Torah. So that's the obligation to teach your children Torah. And a woman is not obligated to teach her, her children her son, right? Because whoever is obligated to teach is obligated whoever is obligated to learn is obligated to teach. If you're not obligated to to teach, then you're uh, if you're not excuse me, if you're not obligated to learn, then you're not obligated to teach. Our question for today uh, well is going to be why is it that the Rambam starts off the halacha with a uh, with who is exempt from the mitzvah? Wouldn't it have made more sense to talk about, as we saw in Hechos Hanukkah, and we saw in Hechos Megillah, who's obligated to, uh, to, to in the mitzvah, not who's exempt from the mitzvah. So that's going to be the question I'd like you to, uh, to send me. Now on to Allah Chabais, your answer. There could be right answers, wrong answers. There's just your svar I want to hear. I want to hear your thoughts. Kishem shechayev adam lomod es is halacha beis. Kishem shechayev adam lomod es beno. Kach hu chayev lomod es ben beno. Shnei mar v'odad tamal v'necha uvenei v'necha. So just as an, a father is obligated to teach his uh, his son Torah, right? We just saw in the previous halacha that a father is obligated to teach his son Torah. So too he's obligated to teach his grandson Torah, as the pasuk says, "You should let your sons and your uh, your grandsons know." Okay, it says "Velo ben velo beno uben beno bilvad." It's not only his his sons and his grandsons. Elo mitzvah kol chacham v'chacham Yisrael. Lomod es koha talmidim, afapishem banav. Now, not only are you obligated to teach your sons and grandsons, um, but you're all every chacham, every qualified wise scholar in Bnei Israel has an extra obligation. And as obligation extends past his children and his grandchildren and goes to all people in Klai Yisrael. Shnei marve shinatam levanecha. Right, as the Pasuk says, you should teach your sons. Now, hold on a second. What do you mean? It says, you should teach your sons. How does that tell me I have to teach everybody? So, right, so the Rabbim says that even though it says you should teach your sons, the rabbis learned and they understood that this extends past just teaching your sons Torah. This goes to teaching your even even your even everybody right because your your students are called your your sons right that's why teachers right that's why we love you so you are students so much because you're actually compared to our children right students are our children so the rabbi says hold on a second if you tell me that i have to if i have to teach my sons and my grandsons, I understand, and my now my students because they're like my sons and grandsons so you can laminate stav beno bembeno Right, so then why do you have to specifically tell me that I should teach my children and my grandchildren? Right, that doesn't make any sense. You've already you've already told me that that I have to I have to teach everybody. So just say I have to teach everybody. Because what I want to do is I want to I want to show a, a list of of, uh, of priorities: who comes first and who comes second. Right, who comes first? My son comes first, and then my grandson. And as if I can only, if I have limited time, who comes first? I have to teach my son first, and then if I have a little more time, teach my grandson, and if I have enough time, then I teach, or I teach everybody. All right, that's the idea. So those are the two halachos that we're going to see today. And again, the question I'd like you to send me is, why do you think? Why do you think? Short answer, but why do you think the Rambam opens up the laws of Talmud Torah, the laws of learning Torah, by saying who's exempt? and not opening them up by saying who's obligated. I look forward to hearing your answers. Have a great day.